Welcome to this Microsoft SQL Azure demonstration. Today we're going to create a SQL Azure database server, then review some firewall settings, create a SQL Azure database, and then connect and manage SQL Azure. My name is Jinder Rai, and I'm going to walk you through this demonstration today. Let's proceed. So the first thing you need to do when you signed into the Windows Azure Platform Management Portal is either click on the home page and select new database server, or if you're under the database section, click create to create a new server. Let's go ahead and create a new SQL Azure server now. I'll click create. I'm now able to create a new server and select a region where I'd like the server to be placed. I'll select North Central US for now. Then click next. We need to provide the first administrator login to the SQL Azure server. So I'll create one called MyAdmin. Provide it a strong password. And then click next. At this point, we'll need to actually provide access to the server from the IP that you originate from. So I'll click Add. I'll just call this rule My IP. I'll enter in my IP address and then click OK. We can add additional IP addresses if you wish at this stage. If, you, if this database server is going to be used by other resource services within your subscription, we'll need to select the option of Allow other Windows Azure services to access this server. In my case, I'll just click finish for now to create the server. Our server has been created and when we select the server, we have the server home page. We're aware that the server is in the regional north central US and the administrator login is my admin. This is where we can manage additional file rules and I can add additional ones here. I can provide a rule name and provide a range of IP addresses. And we can then also go ahead and still select the option of allow under other Windows as all services to access this server. Now let's go ahead and create a Windows Azure database. Once you've selected the server, we can then click on the create option where we can create a new database. There's two different editions of the types of database that you can create. One is web and the second is business. The web edition allows you to create a 1 gig database or a maximum size of 5 gig. For the business edition, we're able to create a maximum size of 10 gig all the way to 50 gig. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll create a web edition with 1 gig. I'll just say this is my DB. And then click OK. The database has been created and it provides some information in terms of the maximum size and the current size that's been allocated. At this point, let's go ahead and actually manage our SQL Azure server. I'll click Manage, and it should allow my IP access to this. And the database I selected was my DB. I can also collect a master if I wish. Let's log in and click Connect. Now we're connected to the SQL Azure MyDB database and we can actually see some properties here too. And then we can also access some help links also. We're now ready to go ahead and create our new tables, new views and new store procedures.